first of the two things that you all have been waiting for. The first thing, of course, is the introduction of our soloists, the three finalists in the Down River Idol. The second thing, which will take place in the second half of the concert, is, of course, the announcement of who will be the winner. Just for the record, that announcement will be made after the singing of the Schubert Ave Maria. Now, you have, as an insert to your program, a little bio summary of the three soloists. We discovered, however, that due to a printing error, the inside is not in the same north-south configuration as the outside. But we are sure that with the fine performances of the soloists, everything will be right in your world. So the first piece you are going to hear is arguably the most famous song from George Gershwin's great classic folk opera, Porgy and Bess, an opera which was first performed on Broadway in 1945, and it kind of dumbfounded everybody. The classical snobs couldn't abide it because, of course, it had popular music elements in it. The popular music people couldn't quite figure out what was going on because it was cast in the form of an opera with some very interesting classical overtones to it, and it took a while to get going. But after a few pro more productions in this States, it moved over to Europe where it became very, very popular in Germany and of all places in Russia. And there were more performances here in the United States, but for some reason the Metropolitan Opera just refused to have anything to do with it. And then finally, 1985, on the 50th anniversary of the first production, they finally relented and it was mounted on the stage of the Metropolitan Opera, and it's been, of course, a favorite with audiences ever since, as indeed it always has been. The opera takes place in a portion of Charleston, South Carolina, known as Catfish Row, and shortly after the opera opens, some of the characters are filling the stage and wondering about, and the character named Clara comes on with her little tiny child in her arms and sings this wonderful lullaby, which is certainly one of the most beautiful pop songs ever written. And here to sing it for you this afternoon, please welcome first idol contestant, Jill Ryan.
opera now uh, for an excerpt, an aria from one of Mozart's delightful operas called The Abduction from the Seraglio. Well, actually, if you want to get technical about it, it's not really an opera. It's called in German a Singspiel, which literally means a play with singing. Now, there are arias and ensembles and duets and choruses and whatnot, but there's also a great deal of spoken dialogue in the piece. So if you think about it for a minute, that makes it kind of like a classical era forerunner of the modern day Broadway musical, which has solos and ensembles and choruses and a lot of spoken dialogue. This was written when Mozart was in his mid-twenties, and just very briefly, it tells the story of a young Spanish nobleman who has arrived on the Turkish coast looking for his servant, his fiancée, and her maid, who were abducted by pirates and taken to the palace of a very wealthy pasha. When he gets there, he finds that the whole operation is guarded by a very gruff, nasty, mean-spirited overseer named Osmin, who does everything he can to try and get him out of there. But in any case, in the beginning of the second act, there's a marvelous bit between this character, Osmin, and the maid, whose name is Blonda. And Osmin, of course, just has no use for her whatsoever, is trying to boss her around, and she won't take any of it. She just looks him straight in the eye and says, after all, I am a freeborn English woman, and you can't tell me what to do. And then she puts him in his place in the sweetest possible way you could think of, not by yelling or getting mad at him, but by singing this delightful aria in which he says, in effect, being bossy, being belligerent is not going to get you anywhere, but if you want to get your way to a woman's heart, you can do it with tenderness and sweetness and gentleness. And here to sing this sweet and gentle tender aria, please welcome Lara Samet.
We go back to Broadway now for the last of our three Idol finalists. And before we do that, let me just mention to you, you all have been handed little yellow cards, I believe, to make your selection. We ask that you do so as soon as possible when the intermission comes on us and hand them to an usher for tabulation. We're going to conclude this portion of the concert with one of the great songs from Leonard Bernstein's classic Broadway musical, West Side Story. It may interest some of you to know that when choreographer Jerome Robbins brought Bernstein and playwright Arthur Lawrence together in 1949 to work on the play, it was originally going to be called East Side Story. And that's because it originally was supposed to have been a star-crossed romance between a Jewish boy and a Catholic girl set amidst the gang warfare in Manhattan's Lower East Side. Well, because of pressing commitments that all three of them had, they had to put it on the shelf for almost five years. And when they came back to it, the demographics in New York had changed so radically that they realized they could no longer sustain the original plot line, and so it became West Side Story, all about a romance between a Polish boy and a Puerto Rican girl set against the background of the gang warfare on the west side of Manhattan, of course, West Side Story. As the musical opens not too long into it, the character of Tony and the character of Maria both go to a dance not knowing each other, they meet for the first time. Tony is just smitten head over heels in love with this gorgeous creature. And he sings this beautiful standard, which we will now have sung for us by David Martin. 